Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Navarro Autism for the first of a series of Let's Plays that will encompass all of 2016. Oh, and by the way, Happy New Year, everyone! Yes, we are coming to you from the start point of this particular journey, which will encompass all of 2016, and will show off six of the most popular video games of all time. This is a series of games that will be known as the Elite Six series, and will recognize six video games that are each celebrating significant milestones here in 2016. And so I'm glad that all of you are taking the opportunity to go on this adventure with me, because it will certainly be one. And so, I'll explain more about the games that you can expect to see over the Elite Six series this year as we go along. Um, if you've seen my promo video, then you know which games we will be getting to feature over the course of the Elite Six series. And I hope that all of you take the opportunity to enjoy each and every one of the Let's Plays that we'll be doing this year. So, what do you say we get started by going down to this screen to take on the first of the Elite Six series, and that would be the original Metroid. So, let's go up to... back to my screen, because for some reason I... I can't, um, quite use the particulars of the, um... Uh, well, I don't have a Wii, um, classic controller set up yet to point the screen and say, Hey, do this. So, the first of the Elite Six series, the original Metroid. And I've only been playing this game for a few weeks, but I've been playing on playing this game for a long time. So it starts with this. Emergency order. Defeat the Metroid of the planet Zabeth and destroy the mother brain, the mechanical life vein, Galaxy Federal Police M510. Yeah, when I first started watching people playing this game on YouTube, I went to go watch the Let's Play of this game that was done by Nintendo Capri Sun, because obviously, he being one of the most successful YouTube gamers in the world, he would be a logical choice to figure out how to go where, get what, and where, where exactly everything is. So, everything that you see me doing in this Let's Play will be based on information that I got by watching his LP. So. What do you say we get started? And introduce you to the greatest drag of all time, Samus Aran. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that all of us who are familiar with this game will be very familiar with the fact that everyone who originally played this back in the day thought that Samus was a guy, but it was revealed at the end that Samus is a woman. So, we have to go to the left here, for those of you who are familiar with this game, to get this glowing orb, because you can't even get out of the initial area until you gain the ability to duck, which that glowing orb allows you to do. So, let's start shooting up a storm. So we have... This is perhaps the enemy that I like the most because it's the easiest to kill. Because it just dives bombs, dive bombs straight on your head, and that makes life way easier. So you have to, you start the game with 30 units of energy, and if you get game over, this is also the same number of health that you get when you start the game over again. And that can be pretty frustrating, especially if you die towards the end of the game. And obviously, since I have not played this game for forever, there will be quite a few game overs. So just giving you guys an advance warning that I will be getting game over more than a few times. But hopefully, if all goes well, I'll be able to get the victory over the Vile Mother Brain. And we'll be able to mark this game as completed here on Let's Play at Navarro Autism. Well, yeah, enemies will do that to you, because, yeah, as I mentioned before, you can't see... Until you get that glowing orb in the initial chamber on the left, you can't even gain the ability to duck. So, that's why this is so important. Alright, now I gotta deal with you guys. Yeah, come right to me. Thank you. Ah, there we go. And now we gotta take on the bit of an arduous journey to get up this direction. We just wanna make sure that we're 
not getting hit by these floating guys because you can't damage them. Well, come on over. And now it's your turn. There we go. Right, this one, I can't quite get it. I gotta jump for this one. Jump shot. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I gotta be careful about this situation so that I don't take a header off the floating guy. Take this. And you take that. Yeah, this this is a very long initial shaft, but it really gives you an opportunity to get an opportunity to pace yourself because whoops! <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. It's because you don't have the t opportunity um, to um, see the first door for a while, and it allows you to set your own pace. You're not under a time limit, just just like under Kid Icarus, except that the only time you are under a time limit is when you beat Mother Brain, because you're not officially declared the winner of the game until you um, escape from her chamber after you beat her. And... Ooh, <laughs> precision jumping, precision shooting. It all works together. Get you. Alright. Keep on going. Yeah, it may, the initial part of the Let's Play may not seem all that exciting, but of course, um, probably the initial part of my Kid Icarus Let's Play wasn't all that exciting until we got more power-ups and more goodies, so, yeah, you have to, this is a game you just have to be patient with in terms of being able to appreciate what it can do. Alright, so there's the first door that I want to go into. Um, speaking of doors, um, I should get up my map, cause I didn't... <laughs> yeah, you figure of all the things I would have done, I would have had my map all ready to go. But I realized, hey, wait a second, I was talking about Nintendo Capri's son, and I realized, hey, wait a second, I don't have his list of directions to go yet up on my alternate computer, so yeah, I have that up now. Okay, so, when you, so now we have to go down for this next section, trying to hopefully avoid enemies and not land on them. In fact, when I'm going down, I might as well shoot a few in order to get myself up to, max, to maximum, which is, for the time being, 99 units. And this guy's proven to be pretty elusive. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's smarter to just go to a spot that you can see, rather than just free-falling and hope that you don't land on anything. So we want to go in this door. Alright. Jump over. <laughs> ah, yeah, thank you very much, very easy enemies, for dive buttons directly onto my head so that it's easier for me to kill you. You definitely make my life very easy. These things, however, do not. These things, just that fly right at you, can definitely make your life a living hell. And... more thanks. So, we are now approaching our first power-up of the game, the missiles. There's a series of these spread all over the place. Um, they come in increments of five when you get them as power-ups in the field. When you defeat the game's two bosses, Kraid and Ridley, the ones that come in before... Uh, yeah, this, is what I, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Yeah, if you have the enemies coming at you just all at once, you're really going to be in trouble. So yeah, when you find them in the field, they come in increments of five. When you beat the two sub-bosses, Kraid and Ridley, you get, I think it's 75 at a time, at once, just from killing them off. Alright, so now we have to go back up. There we go. And now just keep on going. Get ourselves back to where we were, basically. <laughs> Didn't quite get it. Alright, now waiting on you. Now you don't have anything. Yeah, I wanna, always want to make sure because, um, since I'm still a novice at this game, I still want to make sure that 
I'm getting the opportunity to keep my health at maximum as much as possible. Gotcha. Right. And if you get missiles like that, you only start getting missiles from enemies once you actually get a missile upgrade. So that's something you'll have to take into consideration while you're playing this. Alright, so we're going back the way we came. Which means we're running... <laughs> I always find Samus running around with her arms playing like that when she's running to be very funny for some reason. But then again, this is a game from 1986, so they didn't necessarily have ways of sh being able to show natural limb movement, as it were. So we want to go in this place. We want to go into this chamber. And we get a quick um, respite from the music we were listening to. Yeah, I just want to take my time with this guy. Kill him off. And he gave me max health. Well, buddy, but his friend almost took it away, and so did him. He almost did the same. Oh, we got we got some of these guys grouped together. There we go. Yeah, you only hear the music change to this simple tune when you're close to getting a special item. And those red doors can only be unlocked by hitting it with five missiles. So we want to come over here and get our first upgrade, the long beam. So, we had a little tiny shot, and now our shots will go the entire length of the screen, as you can see there. So now back the way we came. Again. <laughs> yeah, there will be backtracking in this game. There will be a lot of backtracking. But, exp exploration is all part of the great experience of this game. Okay, so now that I have that, we want to go back down again. Yeah, that, that the area going up further, we can't quite get access to what's up there just yet. So we gotta return into here. Take this. Yeah, don't worry, we'll get more missiles eventually. So now we want to go into this new area, take on these enemies that are doing the sine wave pattern, which is insanely annoying, especially if you're trying to deal with them. Well, we'll get um, stuff that will help us deal with these enemies in a much better way as we go along later. But yeah, these are, during my practice runs while I was on vacation for Christmas when I was getting myself ready for this Let's Play, these enemies were by far the worst I had to deal with. Right up until I got to the Metroids, and then it became a whole new problem altogether. Gotcha! Haha! <laughs> Whoop! Oh, get rid of you! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. The enemies can just charge at you, and you don't even see them coming until it's too late. <laughs> Case in point. <clears throat> Yeah, and then there's this problem you have to deal with. Trying to escape from the yellow lava. Yeah, they come in not just red, but yellow in this game, too. And the long... Thankfully, it's not insta-kill. But it will drain your health slowly but surely. Oh, want the missiles. <laughs> oh, near collision. But I saved myself from disaster. Thank you for the restitution. And now, over to our next upgrade. And this is a health upgrade. This is the first of the E-Tanks, which gives us a f another full 100 units of health, which is awesome. So we want to, by, if I'm reading this correctly, we want to keep going. And not crash into you, or your friend. Ah, just short. But yeah, the fact that these guys will pretty much follow you to the ends of the earth and beyond, not cool. Yeah, I'm sure you're probably wondering why am I not attempting to kill more enemies and get more missiles. Well, it's because of the frustration that these sine wave enemies give you. Alright, so we dealt with that, so now we are going up. Yeah, if I have to just stay in one place and 
farm for missiles, then I'll do that. Alright, so we want to go first left. Hopefully I'll kill a sufficient amount of enemies that will allow me to get access to this next chamber because this is another one of these chambers where I will need five missiles to break the door open. Come on over, come on over. Uh, ah, not quite. But at least he gives me restitution to full on my health. Come on over. Alright. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. And now we'll let's shoot. <laughs> yeah, they're grouping up together again. Alright. Missile time. And into this next section. Where we get another crucial item, the bombs. Unlike the missiles, bombs are infinite. They can only be used, though, if you go into your ducking phase. If you duck, then you can plant a bomb. Alright, so now that we have the bombs, we want to go back. Again. Like I said, lots of backtracking is coming your way in this Let's Play. Whoa! And go, 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 kill it, kill it, kill it, ow! Fine, I'll kill you up there. Or you can never harm anyone ever again. Alright, back to full. Whoop! <laughs> uh, thought you could get me, huh? I don't think so. Alright, going back down again. So there's a particular item that we absolutely have to have in our possession before we make our way to the f next main section of the map. Ouch. They break the game up into five different sections. There's this initial area, which is known as Brin Star. There's the second section, which is known as Norfair and is full of lava. Um, there's also the last area, where the Mother Brain is located, known as Turian. There's also, and those are also the two dungeons that are home to both the, of the sub-bosses, Crate and Ridley. Yeah, I needed a point to research this stuff by watching Nintendo Capri Sun, so that I could, at least in terms of knowledge of where I am, make things a lot easier for myself in describing things. Whether or not I'll succeed, that's another story. But of course, I come here in the hopes that I will succeed. Hopefully this will not be... At least I've practiced beforehand um, for a couple of weeks before doing this Let's Play. So, uh, yeah, there's always the enemies that are going to give you the greatest of difficulty, and this is, this is the clearest of examples. There, I gotcha. Yeah, I really wanted to kill them off just for satisfaction. I demand satisfaction, sir! <laughs> and I won't get it until I beat you! Yeah, but the, th but the fact that you have to ch be chased by these things for what seems like forever is not fun. Alright, chase you, chase you! Ouch! In the head. Yeah, th these sine wave enemies just a no end of frustration. Yeah, and the fact that their um, flight pattern gets altered if you get... If they get stuck under a ceiling or stuck under a platform can definitely work against you. And look at this! Three at a time?! Come on! That's a bit too much, don't you think, game? Then again, I should give the, um, the benefit of the doubt because this is a 1986 game and th given that this is Metroid's 30th anniversary, um, it shouldn't come as much of a surprise that, and that games were much harder back in the day. So, after dealing with that and getting the bombs, I want to make sure I get this right. So, it's not bombs, right down, left. Okay, I, th I think I've actually gone too far. <clears throat> I think I've actually gone too far here. Because following the following the map, but... Yeah, I wanted to make sure that I get an upgrade that's absolutely necessary for, at least for now, advancements in the game. 
So I'll try and do what I can to avoid you guys. But in situations where I must fight you, then I will. Can't remember if it was this chamber or the next one. Yeah, I think I think it was the next one. So I overshot on two chambers. <laughs> yeah, I was screwed there. Oh, speaking of screwed, <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? These stupid sine wave enemies are the worst. Alright, back in here. What? I didn't score! Alright, there's where I wanted to go. Yeah, in some instances, this stuff is fake. And in instances where this stuff is fake, you have to um, just pass through. Don't worry about taking damage because you won't. Yeah, there are lots of rooms that will trick you like that. We want to go in here. And now we're going to have to really deal with some pesky enemies. In fact... Yeah, that made life a lot easier. I'm going to need some enemies to show up because once again I'm going to need... five missiles in order to advance. I mean, if I have to... grind for the extra missile off camera, then I'll do that. Because, ooh, wow, this is a much shorter chamber than I remember. Ah, he gave me nothing. Alright. And we'll just keep carrying enemies until we get that coveted final missile. And thankfully, it only takes one more enemy to get the job done. So let's try this again. Huh. Yeah, hello to you too. Yeah, hello to you too indeed. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, you're just waiting. Well. Wait right here and I'll be right back. Because we're getting our next power up. The Ice Beam. And so, Ice Beam will freeze most of the enemies, not all of them. And when frozen, they are used as can be used as platforms in situations where you may not necessarily be able to have a platform available. Now, that I've got these, it's time for us to go back over here. So that's it. Now these enemies, they do not get destroyed, or they don't get frozen, but you can kill them off. Either by shooting them or getting hit, or taking a hit. Ow. Speaking of taking a hit... I said I was a novice, did I not? This isn't a pure blind let's play. I, I mean, I, had, I did mention before, I have practiced previously. But... I really wanted... This is a game that I really wanted to... Um, play for a long time. This is one of the games that I feel like because my fam my family did not have this game, my and neither did any of my friends or family when we each had our Nintendos. And that's the only way you can get yourself up, by the way. So we, our family had the various games of what I like to call the Nintendo Grand Slam, the NES Grand Slam of when the console was out. Super Mario Brothers, Kid Icarus, Legend of Zelda, and Metroid, but every member of my family that had a Super Nintendo, or not, a regular Nintendo, I should say, had at least one of these copies except for Metroid. No one in my family, whether it was immediate family or relatives or friends, had a copy of Metroid. So, this is a game that I've been wanting to uh, get off my video game bucket list for some time, and... Yeah, this is a game I've been wanting to get off my video game bucket list for some time, and I'm glad that I'm finally able to start playing it here as a Let's Play for you guys. And I know what, and I know what you're probably thinking, like, uh, why didn't I choose The Legend of Zelda, but the original Legend of Zelda, because that was also a 1986 game. And the answer to that is quite simple. It's because of the fact that um, I wanted to expand my video gaming portfolio because of the fact that, yeah, that I've never 
um, played um, Metroid until a few weeks ago, and on top of that, since I already have Legend of Zelda games already completed in my Let's Play catalog with Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time, and A Link to the Past already under my repertoire, I wanted to switch things up a bit, because, yeah, I have played the original Legend of Zelda, but my family did not own the original Legend of Zelda, and I never made it past um, level 5 as a kid growing up, so... To give you an idea of what my experience is with the original Metroid, or rather with the original Legend of Zelda, it would have just been a great deal of frustration because for, yeah, I, I could say that, yeah, you were young, you didn't really have all that much experience with video games yet, plus since the fact that your family didn't own it, you couldn't have really gotten all that good at it, which is all true, but for me personally, I would like to be able to um, say that I was able to play this in addition to the original Legend of Zelda and be able to say that I was able to, uh, that unlike the original Legend of Zelda, I could beat this game. Um, I think I'll just shoot at you. So we're back where the mist, where we got our first um, set of missiles, but now we want to keep going further right. And hopefully not get nailed. I said hopefully not get nailed. <laughs> uh, but it seems like no matter where I land, I'm gonna land on an enemy. Yeah, I'm trying my best not to panic or anything like that. So, we have successfully completed our first run into Brinstar. And so, below this elevator is the area known as Norfair. And so, this is what we'll be taking on as we begin our journey. We've already got it started, and so we'll get it taken further as we go into Norfair next time. And so, yeah, this is definitely a big deal for me starting the Elite Six series, and I hope that all of you will enjoy all the games that you'll be getting to see over the course of the next year. We won't be forgetting the ones that we're, that we're still doing. Um, Earthbound will still be happening. It will now be taking place on weekends. So, don't, for those of you who have been watching the Earthbound Let's Play, don't worry, it's still going to be happening. Um, and hopefully we'll also be able to get the opportunity to complete the two games that I have still got in arrears. Ninja Gaiden and Sonic Hill. And so... But the games that will be part of the Elite Six series will be the focus of this year, so... I hope that all of you will enjoy everything that we're going to get to do in 2016. But, yeah, I've talked for long enough and we're nearly at 30 minutes, which probably is about an appropriate amount of time for me as a novice player playing this game to have been doing this in a YouTube video, so we'll cut it here. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the start of Let's Play Metroid. And when I join you again, we will make our way into Norfair, and try and take on and take out all the evil enemies therein. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.